Okay, in this video, I will show you guys how to convert a point in the rectangular coordinate to the polar coordinate. I will first demonstrate the fundamental, and I'll show you guys an example. And in my next video, I will show you guys how to do it backwards. So let's check this out first, though, from rectangular to polar. The idea is that when we have a point on the plane, let me just put it up here. To describe where this point is, is that we can set up an x and y axis like this, right? And then from this version here, you have to tell me how many units we have to move left or right, and then how many units to move up or down. When we move left or right, of course, you know this is the x value. And then when we move up or down, you know this is the y value, like this, right? So, of course, you know this is x, comma y. But our goal is that maybe there's another way to describe where is this point from this origin. And this is how we are going to do it. So the idea is that, first of all, imagine that you are right here at the center, OK? And you're always going to be looking at this direction, OK? This direction, like this. And what you're going to do is you are going to turn with an angle so that when you can see the point like that, OK? So it's like I'm going to turn so I can see you guys like this, OK? So you have to just first tell me what's the angle that we have to turn. And by default, we always look at the positive x-axis, OK? And then you turn, and this is the angle, so we'll denote this by theta. And the second thing that you have to know is, how far do we have to go from the origin to this point? And we'll denote this by r, OK? So that's the idea. When we have a rectangular coordinate, we are talking about x, comma, y. And when we are talking about polar coordinate, this is the deal. We are going to write down r, comma, theta. But in my opinion, theta is more important because you should be able to see what's in front of you before you move forward, right? Anyway, this is the idea. We are going to come up with a relationship uh, for r and also a relationship for theta based on just x and y. Let's do r first. Look at this. We have a right triangle, isn't it? And we can just use the Pythagorean theorem to help us out. So with that said, we can just say r squared. This is the hypotenuse, of course. This is equal to x squared plus y squared, right? By the Pythagorean theorem. So this is a nice formula that we can use. And I am not going to take the square roots on both sides. Because, in fact, this is what we are going to use. Because r can actually be positive or negative. I will show you guys the interpretation for that. But now, let's talk about how we can think how we can get theta. OK, remember, we have x and y. By looking at this right triangle, y is the opposite side, and the x is the adjacent side, right? Opposite over adjacent. What does that remind you of? Tangent, isn't it? So right here, let's write down. We know if we take tangent of this theta, this is going to give us y over x. And right here, I'm not going to take the inverse tangent on both sides neither, because you know they are in there are, in fact, a lot, a lot of angles that will satisfy this right here. In fact, infinitely many angles, right? So this is what we are going to use. And now let me demonstrate with an example to show you guys what I mean by this, OK? So here is the goal. We are going to convert a point in the rectangular coordinate form to the polar coordinate form, OK? And let me just do this one with you guys. Let's say we have 1, comma, square root of 3. And I will just remind you guys, this is the x and y, because I want to emphasize this is the rectangular coordinate. I want to change this to polar now. So our goal is to figure out r and theta. Here is the recommendation. Always try to draw a picture. So I will do that for you guys right here. OK, this point, we have 1, comma, square root of 3. So this is 1 right here, let's say. OK. And then square root 3, it's positive, so that means we go up like this. So we have this right here, right? OK, now, first of all, we can figure out this r, if you would like, right? This is really nice computation. And in my opinion, the idea is that in order for you guys to look at this point, you need to know what's the angle that you have to turn so that you can go from here to there, OK? But anyway, let's figure out the r first. To do so, of course, we can just use the first uh, equation over there, we know r squared 
And I know this is a special right triangle, but you know, I will just show you guys all the work. One square plus square root of three, square, right? And then you see, if we will just add this up, this is r square equals to one plus three, which is four. And now, take the square root on both sides. Be sure you do the plus or minus, right? So I will have to tell you, r is equal to either two, or r could also be equal to negative two, isn't it? And you may be wondering, okay, which one do we pick? But it depends on the angle you want to use according with the r that you are going to use, okay? So now, here is how we are going to do it. Let's figure out the theta now. I need to figure out this angle right here. That's the angle theta. Ideally speaking, I just want to turn from here to this, right? Let me just do it like this. I just want to turn from the standard position and then pass the angle. When I see the point that's right in front of me, I just have to go forward and then I will be done, right? And what's this angle? Up to you however you want to do it. If you want to use this right here, okay, you can just do tangent theta. And this is going to give us y over x, namely square root of 3 over 1, just square root of 3, right? And, you know, you can do whatever you want to do right here. Theta is just equal to, and this is just one of the answer, okay? One of the answers. You can take the inverse tangent on both sides, and you end up with 60 degrees here, okay? And let's write down this in terms of radius, pi over 3. Okay, 60 degrees right here, pi over 3. So now, here is the deal. Ideally speaking, we want to write down r comma theta, theta in radius. But I want to just emphasize this for you guys. So for simplicity purpose, let me use degrees, okay? 60 degrees right here. Because it's easier to talk about the adding, subtracting, and things like that. Okay, now, what do we do next? Well, depends on the angle to use. You may have to use positive r or negative r. First of all, this point right here, okay? This right here is equal to. Uh, if I want to use 60 degrees for my theta, that means I just turn from here to here, 60 degrees. And I can see the point right in front of me. I can just go forward with the distance 2. When you go forward, you'll pick the positive r. So the first representation of this point here is just that, 2, comma, 60 degrees. And seriously, you can write this down as pi over 3, okay? But you know, let me just do this with you guys. It's easier this way. Okay, now, is there any way that we can do it? And as I said, how can we actually use the negative r right here? Well, this is in fact equal to the following. I should say equivalent, because in the polar coordinate, this two, right, uh, they are going to end up with the same point. Let me show you. Suppose I really want to use r is equal to negative two, so let me just put up, this is my negative two here. Hmm. This right here, when you have negative r, this means we are going to go backwards, and this is how it makes sense. First of all, this is the theta one that we know, which is 60 degrees. It's just that like sometimes, some people will tell you the wrong direction. Suppose you guys are right here, but some, some people will tell me to turn, and now I'm <laughs> not facing you guys. But luckily, I know you guys are right behind me, right? That's the idea. I am just going to go this way. So, this is 60, but sometimes I may <laughs> end up in the situation that I may have to turn this much, and as a, maybe by accident or whatever, I'll be looking at this direction, right? I'll be looking at this direction. But the deal is that this right here forms a straight line, okay? This direction, it's, you know, it's the same direction, but just opposite, that kind of thing, straight line. Okay, so how can we figure out this angle from here to here? You have a few ways to do it, whichever way that works for you, up to you, I don't know. But here is just one way, okay? This right here is 60 degrees, right? The whole thing is going to be 180 because it's a straight line. So what you can do is, you can just do 60 degrees minus 180 degrees, and then you can get 100 you can get negative 120 degrees. And this is the reason why I just want to use degrees because it's easier to talk about uh, adding, subtracting, and all that stuff, okay? 
and in, you can just convert this to radians later on, but then that's finished so it's right here. But anyway, from here to here, negative 120 degrees means we rotate backwards, right, clockwise. So this right here is negative 120 degrees. So that's another representation of the same point. We rotate negative 120 degrees and then go backwards, and we can still end up with the same point, okay? So positive r, positive theta, negative r, negative theta. Can we do more? Yes, we can. Why not? Okay, let's see. Is it possible to have, let's say I want to have positive r, but negative angle. I want to have positive r, but negative angle. Remember, positive r means that I have to go forward. And negative angle right here is that I have to just turn this way. So now we are going to keep track. Suppose you want to end up with this terminal side in red. Starting from here, I want to turn backwards. I will just keep track. So from here, all the way to here, isn't it? And now, once again, it depends on whichever map that you would like to do. We know this much is 60 degrees, so we can do the following. Let me just do this right here. 60 degrees, and then we can just minus 360, okay? Minus 360, and then we end up with negative 300 degrees. So, negative 300 degrees means we turn backwards, right? namely clockwise, this way, and now the point is still right in front of us. We can just go forward two units, we still end up with the same place. So negative 300 degrees, same thing. Now, is it possible to have negative r, okay, but positive theta? Negative r, but positive theta. Negative r means that we are going to go backwards. It's just like this. I just have to go backwards, right? OK. Now, let's see. I have to go backwards, and I want the theta here to be positive. So I have to turn this way instead. Starting from the standard uh, position right here, I have to turn this way. So I want to end up with the blue dotted line for, for my direction I'm facing. So I just keep, keep track. So from here, go this much right here, right? Once again, it depends on whichever the map that you would like to do, right? So from here, turn this way. This right here is 60 degrees. You can just add another 180, right? That's one of the math that you can do, okay? So let's just do that. 60 degrees, and I will just have to go 180 more, so that's plus 180 degrees. Altogether, we end up with 240 degrees. That's positive angle. That means we turn this way, and we go backwards, okay? So 240 degrees, like that. So as you can see, this right here, we actually have four answers as of now, but can we even have more? Yes, the situation is like, if you really want to just keep turning, 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 right? For example, for this one, okay, for this one, okay? So that means I turn from here to here 60 degrees, but can I just do this another time? Add another 360, right? I can keep doing this, add another 360, and so on. So if you really would like, you can also say this as equal to 2, 360 plus 60 is equal to 420 degrees, okay? And this is just the inner number, 420 degrees, so don't think too much. If you are laughing for no reason, I am worried about you. Anyway, but this is the idea. And in fact, there are a lot of answers to go. But in my opinion, these are the four interesting ones, and of course, this is the perhaps the non-redundant one, right? Because some of them, maybe you are just missed the place or negative angle, you're doing too much, that kind of thing. But anyway, uh, this right here is the answers, and there are a lot more, and I will leave the rest for you guys to figure out. But the most important thing is that know this and know that, and pair the r and theta together so you can get the right point. Hopefully you guys find this video helpful, and be sure you guys watch my next video. I will show you guys how to go from the polar to the rectangular. And if you are new to my channel, please subscribe. Thank you guys so much. As always, that's it.